this is a surprise. Apple just released iOS 17.3 Beta 2 on January 3rd, which is today. And this is kind of unexpected. Apple traditionally does not release updates the week of holidays. And obviously New Year's was just two days ago. So what's going on? I guess these developers were working overtime and we have an update. So without further ado, three weeks after we got our first beta, we're back with beta two. Let's jump into it. All right, so iOS 17.3 beta two just finished installing and let's go ahead and turn this baby over and it feels a little warm. Let's do our normal temperature check right up top. Yeah, it felt a little warm right to begin with. Oh yeah, that is the first time we've seen a temperature that high in a while. So unsurprisingly, obviously the thermals cannot be changed in the actual phone itself. However, more of the recent betas have not been as big of an issue. It has not gotten this hot as this one has. That is, that's pretty crazy actually, 109 degrees here. Um, for those of you that follow the channel, you know our Pixels and a lot of the other Android devices that we test don't traditionally go over 100 degrees on updates, but here you go. Obviously, there's uh, definitely some heat being dispersed horribly on this phone, but it is what it is. One thing I can tell you also, right before I started recording this, the alarm clock setting and when I unlocked the phone originally, the calendar did not automatically refresh as quick as it normally has. There was a definite 30, 40 second lag before this actually populated anything again for the calendar or the actual clock here on the widget. So not sure if that's necessarily a bug or it just took a little longer to refresh, but just a quick call out nonetheless. The build here actually was about 505 megabytes for this update, just to let you guys know. Now, more importantly, let's go into the build number and see where we're at. Okay, so the full build number for beta two is 21D. 5036C. Again, being a C build, that is pretty significant, showing us that it is almost to the beginning of the alphabet, meaning this is possibly one of the last betas. I would assume at least a third beta to get us to B, possibly even A, but this will definitely be released unless there's some huge setback in January. That is actually not surprising. We assumed it would be done at that point anyways, considering this came out at the beginning of December and then we didn't get an update for a number of weeks, like we said earlier. So definitely good to see here, but that just is a good guide to let you know when we could possibly see the finalized version. Speaking of which, while we're talking about it, let's just jump into it and see when we can actually get that. Since we are on a Wednesday, which is not a typical release day, let alone in a holiday week, like we said, we could very easily get the next beta on Tuesday the 9th or on the 16th. That could actually be one of the last builds or the RC at that point for a release on the 23rd or 30th. I'm aiming around the 23rd, I believe, because there's a lot of talk around this last week of January being when you can actually pre-order or actually buy the Vision Pro. We all know you're going to need spatial audio. And that is obviously in one of these latest betas, or actually in 17.2, but they might be tweaking it some in 17.3 that we just don't know of yet. So keep that in mind. Obviously in iOS 17.3 beta one, they did introduce that stolen device protection. That is one of the main features here. If you are not familiar with it, we can actually find it under, let's see, stolen device. So it's not going to come up that way. So stolen device protection was one of the main features here in 17.3, as well as Apple finally brought back the Apple Music Collaboration playlist. So now again, if you are listening to a song or you want to start that playlist, you can simply do it in the actual app again. This was something that was supposed to be done in obviously the last generation of 17.2's builds. However, that did not happen for some reason. So there is that. Um, if you go into your favorite songs and go in here, that is where the playlist was prior. Let me try to go into one of our regular lists and there you go. That is the icon you need for Apple Music collaboration or in the three-dot menu here as well for Collaborate, pulls up the same sharing menu. 
Aside from this, let me go into the feedback app and let's see if this is updated. It usually falls by the wayside from Apple recently and doesn't get updated as quick as usual. But as you can see, nothing has changed here. The 13th when iOS beta 1, iOS 17.3 beta 1 came out. Yeah, that's the last update we have. So jumping around, I could tell you it feels pretty, pretty fluid so far. Nothing really surprising here. Let's just jump into a couple of different settings and see if anything shows up. Nope, nothing really good there. Video, let me see if we can get Apple Vision to pull up. That looks like a new splash screen right there. Record spatial videos for viewing in three dimensions in the Photos app and Apple Vision Pro. For best results, keep iPhone in landscape orientation and stable when recording. And you can see video is recorded at 30 frames per second, 1080p in SDR. A minute of spatial video is approximately 130 megabytes. So we can continue with that. As you can tell, cannot toggle to 4K or anything else. Aside from that splash screen, I'm not sure if we're going to see anything else yet. I'm thinking they are just going to be finalizing and tweaking this build just due to all the bugs that have been experienced in iOS recently. So if we find anything significant, we will leave a note down below in the description or create a separate video if there's enough to warrant that. Stay tuned to the channel, guys. iOS 17.3 beta 2 is out. They did release watchOS 10.3 beta 2 and a slew of other updates as they traditionally do. Our watch video will be going live later as well. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.